Hey everybody, it's me, Joe Somebody, and... <coughs> it's so awesome to be back on your computer screen again, but I just... I took a break because I didn't know what to make a video about. I don't even know why, but I mean, this is like three years into making videos, and I still feel like I constantly am like, what should I make a video about? I very rarely have good ideas, and I don't want to just be making something to put it out there because I want you guys to like my videos. Like, literally, like them. There's a like button. Like them. Something a little bit forced. Maybe I should be nice. Yeah, I've just been working a lot, you know, going to work, doing work while I was at work. I've also just been playing around with the camera more, you know, just doing random pictures of stuff. I don't know, just... I've had this thing for like two or three years, and I still feel like I don't know everything that there is to know about it, so that's weird. Usually I get something new and I have to investigate it and read the manual and figure out everything, but this thing has so many features that, uh, you know, I'm always finding something. I'm like, oh, I didn't know about that. I did a fun little photo shoot for my sister-in-law the other day. She's uh, due like in a, a couple weeks actually to have her baby and she just wanted some new pictures some you know because she has the baby belly and some just because her and her boyfriend don't have a whole lot of pictures together so um, we we did that and uh, and it was pretty fun my wife and I are gonna be celebrating our anniversary in January so I went ahead and booked us a cabin um, off in the middle of nowhere I don't really think the cabin that we booked is gonna have like the a great mountain view or anything but it's just going to be nice to be out in the middle of nowhere in a cabin with a hot tub, you know, just the two of us. And, uh, I don't know, just, yeah, I think it'll be nice and romantic. That's right, I have a romantic bone. Yeah. We're looking forward to our little romantic getaway in the cabin, but what I'm looking more forward to is our next cruise. Some people have been asking if we're going on the bloggers cruise, and, um, we're not. I'm not really sure when it is or, or actually what the bloggers cruise is, but I don't really consider myself a blogger, I guess. Um, definitely not any kind of travel expert or anything like that and I think it would be very stuffy to be on a boat with a whole bunch of people that are trying to blog the entire experience you know it'd be like being on a cruise with myself does that make sense I just said that I don't consider myself a blogger we are trying to line something up for like March or April 2014 hopefully this year I'll be able to afford to get us a balcony for whatever reason Carnival's got a lot of options when it comes to the, to the balcony rooms the, the cove balcony the regular balcony large balcony and extended balcony uh, and I think there's even like the spa balcony so that, that's like five or six different options of balcony rooms but that's something that I wanted to try to do this year we usually just get inside cabins and there's nothing wrong with that. We actually really, really like the inside cabins. We don't spend that much time in our room anyway, so there's really no reason to have a super nice room. And of course, everybody says once you go balcony, you never go back. And that's okay with me as long as I can afford it, you know. I'm kind of looking at the, the Carnival Dream again, uh, and actually an itinerary that I went on in 2007 that does uh, St. Thomas, St. Martin, and Nassau, not necessarily in that order. It leaves from Port Canaveral, so we don't have to drive as far to get onto the ship or drive as far to get home. I finally sold my MacBook Pro I had for a couple years. I bought it thinking I was going to use it a lot for editing and stuff, and it turns out I do all my editing still on my desktop computer. So. I didn't really need the MacBook Pro and it was a very expensive toy to just be sitting around so I finally offloaded it uh, a couple months ago but then I found myself really just needing something and I didn't know what to get like an iPad or a netbook or something just something to use you know while I'm in the other room or or whatever when I don't want to be sitting in, in the office because I'm an IT guy the company I work for um, you know we sell refurbished stuff and we had a laptop come through with Windows 8 on it um, I put a solid state hard drive in it and for a refurbished machine, that thing is just smoking fast, uh, and I got it for a really, really good deal. So I was excited about that, oddly enough. You know, it's like I sold my laptop, oh, I bought a laptop. So people probably think I'm insane, but there was a method to my madness there. Which kind of brings me to another thing. Like, if, if you haven't used Windows 8 yet, um, it's weird. That's all I can say. I don't know if it's just me or, or what, but to me, they've just changed enough stuff for it to be annoying. But once you get used to it, I actually really like Windows 8. I, th I feel like it's a very solid, very stable uh, operating system, unlike uh, Vista was, was just terrible. Windows 7 was pretty good, but Windows 8, once you get used to it, it's, it's pretty good. If you are looking into getting a new computer, a new laptop or something, you probably don't want to get Windows 8 unless you've got the time <clears throat> to spend with it and learn how to use it, or unless you've already kind of uh, messed around with it, because you might be a little shocked if, if it's the first time you're seeing it. We had our first kind of screwy encounter with our neighbors 
the other day. Um, you know, I've got a two-year-old. He runs around the house in our apartment on the fourth floor here, and there's just nothing you can do about that. I mean, he's technically not even two yet, and you know, he's just he just runs from the time he gets up to the time he goes to bed, and apparently that's very, very noisy um, to my neighbors downstairs. So we got a rap tap tap on our door uh, the other day, and she was pretty much just saying, "Hey, I can hear that all day, every day." And though we're sorry about it, ma'am, there's not a lot we can do. But now we do feel very uncomfortable in our own home, almost like we have to tiptoe all the time, and that's <sighs> apartment life. Something new that me and my wife have kind of been uh, enjoying a little bit more is like local fresh produce. There's a place very near here called Jay Moore Farms, and when we go over there, I mean, they've got all kinds of fruits and vegetables and uh, jellies, jams, preserves, marmalades, other spreadable goodness. That's where we went and got our pumpkin. We took Jackson over there to, to let him get a big pumpkin and a little pumpkin. We're going to carve the big one and paint a face on the little one. Um, but, I mean, that's, that's kind of why we started going over there. But now it's like every weekend I want to go there. Gotta love local produce, man. The freshness of the stuff that we get there is just crazy. Uh, I got a black bean and corn salsa, and I swear that's all I can think about right now. And I just had some. That's what I had for lunch, was black bean and corn salsa and uh, tortilla chips. And it's so good, so good. The more I walk through there, I, I realize I want everything that they have for sale there. And not only that, it makes me want to make healthier choices, and, and it makes me like more excited about cooking. Uh, which I'm already, you know, I like to cook. I'm, I'm somewhat passionate about it anyway, but it just really inspires me to to be healthier and to eat better because all the vegetables and fruits and everything looks so good. I have been watching more TV lately than I usually do and one of the reasons for that is The Office. I watched the BBC uh, UK version of The Office first um, which was pretty good and I was kind of hooked on it but the American version for, for whatever reason I love that show. It's just all the characters are great, great character development in the show. It's just something I, I just, I love. I watch it, sometimes I come home on my lunch break and I eat and I watch an episode or two on my lunch break. I watch it before I go to bed. Pretty much any time that I get a chance, I'm watching um, The Office on Netflix. And even though my wife said that she didn't like the show, has actually found herself kind of enjoying it also. So I, I try to coordinate and watch it when she can also watch it. I also bought the Grand Theft Auto 5 game and have been playing the crap out of it. That is just an amazing game. I'm not even a big gamer and I mean, I'm 27 years old, um, so, I don't know what that really has to do with anything, but I love the game. It's a very graphic, violent, uh, I mean, it's got nudity and, and bad language and, and you're stealing cars and shooting people, so it's a really not good game, but I love it. I can't help it. Uh, the gameplay is pretty good when you go on the missions and do the stuff, and other than that, like, just running around, exploring the city, stealing, you know, cars and helicopters and just kind of seeing what you can get into. It's it's a really cool game. I was also trying to decide on whether or not I wanted to buy a new lens for my camera. I've been looking at the Canon, um, it's not a Canon, I've been looking at the Sigma uh, 70 to 200, I think it's a 70 to 200 millimeter um, kind of telephoto lens because I've got the kit lens which I'm using right now, this is the 18 to 55, Canon EFS 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Um, I've got a Sigma 30 millimeter prime lens and I also have a Canon 50 millimeter um, 1.8 prime lens and those are really the only three lenses that I have and I feel like those are the only three that I, I really need um, for what I do but here lately I found myself kind of wanting the zoom of a telephoto lens especially when we went to the zoo um, I just you know this one all the way zoomed in is only 55 millimeters and I just felt very away from the action you know it's only so close you can get to a lion or a tiger um, so in order to capture that moment I would have probably liked to have that telephoto lens um, I also think I might use it um, on cruises you know if I take it with me when we're on the ship looking at the uh, islands and, and stuff like that it might be nice to be able to zoom in further and also I found out that a lot of people use um, telephoto lenses for portraiture which is kind of strange I usually use my 30 millimeter lens um, because of its real shallow depth of field. It's a 1.4 f-stop. So uh, that's kind of a new thing for me to think about is, is using it for portraiture, but I guess you know you could get a more candid shot with it uh, than you could a 30 millimeter because you're further away from the action so people are more apt to be themselves you know and, and not feel like there's a camera hovering in their face. So um, it's something I was looking into. It's only about a hundred and uh, 140 bucks or something. I always try to find you know the cheaper lenses. I'm not one of these guys walking around with a two thousand dollar 
lens on my camera. I just can't can't do it. <laughs> well, anyway, I just kind of wanted to do this what we've been up to type video and, and you know just talk to you guys because I haven't been able to make you know videos on the regular just because the ideas just don't flow to me. I got so much going on with work and um, you know everything else. I'm trying to actually relax some and enjoy life. I mean this though it's fun and it's a hobby this is kind of a job. You know you gotta think of something to make a video about. You gotta film the video. You gotta edit the video. You gotta upload the video. You gotta put all the metadata with it. It's just a lot to do and I'm not complaining at all. I'm just saying it's nice to be able to sit down and watch TV and play some video games and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not giving up on the whole video thing and especially, you know, when we do our cruise and stuff like that, I'm still going to try to make some, some good videos for that kind of stuff. Um, but I just don't know how often I'll be able to make regular stuff because I'm not a super interesting person anyway, so it's hard to get people to watch just regular vlogs like this. Well, anyway, I'm going to go play my game now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.